you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the decision. You guys, this is the our last week together. This is it, guys. We've we've been together for almost after this week, we'll be six weeks strong, um, pumped up, super excited. Um, this has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We've been learning, we've been in action, we've been helping people, we've been growing our business, we've been waking up early, we've been working together. And we're here for our last week. So it's, I'm kind of sad, but I'm kind of happy that we're still here. We still have boxes that are actually still showing up on the screen. I was a little nervous when I said, Floor, let's do this. And um, for six weeks, because I don't know if people are going to last, but look at you guys, you guys did. So congratulations and welcome. So we're going to jump straight into this because we have uh, quite a few to cover, but we don't have a lot of time. And we asked um, an, an incredible coach, Latoya, who's super excited to come on and share. She said, James, one of my goals I wrote down is I want to be speaking on stage at convention, doing like hour long presentations and talks. And I said, well, come on then. Then we got to get you on these calls so that we can get you trained and prepped and ready. And she said, oh, I got this. I can do this. So um, I'm going to bring on Latoya. And what she's going to be telling you, which, what she's going to be sharing with you guys is um, we have about six, I believe, six, seven days left in the month. And so whenever we have a few days left in the month, we know there, if, if we're not yet at our goal, there's a few action steps that we need to be doing in order to reach our goal, right? The few action steps. There's actually 10. We call them 10 massive action steps for success. So over these next six days, if you said to, if you said, I, if you're not at your goal, wherever it is, if you wanted to reach senior coach, executive director, if you wanted to bring on three coaches this month, whatever your goals are, if you're not there, LaToya in the next 12 minutes is going to give you guys the top 10 action steps to focus on, to go finish this month out strong and to reach your goal. Okay. So we're going to jump right into it. You guys, we're going to go through this really, really fast, but do all of these things. Don't pick and choose. Many of you guys probably seen this before and you're like, okay, I know these, what these are, but you're probably not doing all 10 of them. You're probably only doing seven of them. And I encourage you, do all 10 of them if you want to see massive success. It takes massive action. So the last six, seven days of this month, we are going to do just that. We're going to get into action, okay? So I'm going to step aside and we're going to let Latoya go over these, uh, these action steps for you guys. So take out your pen and paper, write these things down, because these are the things that's going to help you bring on those last two, three, five, six, 10 clients, five coaches over the next six, seven days. Go ahead, Latoya, it's all yours. Hi, everyone. Thank you, James. Okay, so our top 10 lists, the things that we wanna do. We wanna first make a new client list and we just wanna start conversations. So you wanna create a list of 25 to 100 people and then friend them all on Facebook if you haven't already. And then like a couple of their posts and comment on one, send them a private message, just start basic conversation with them. And then um, we also too want to contact 10 people on your heart who you've been thinking about um, and who you really wanna make a change in their life. And so you wanna create a list and even if you're, you're scared, just create that list as well. We wanna get you out of your comfort zone and do it afraid, just do it. I learned that many times, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> um, and then number three, we wanna post on Facebook um, at least three to five um, times per day. And then you wanna change your profile picture to your before and after. You wanna post about your family, your pets, vacation hobbies, anything that you like um, according to your life. And you want to be real, raw, and open and vulnerable so people can see that you are a real person. And you definitely want to live out loud. That's That helps a lot because <laughs> people see your transformation in your life and everything. Um, and then you want to set profile to public so that everyone can see it. And then we want to create an urgency. So we want to, uh, like, we want to say that we're looking for five or more people this month. 
Um, and then one of the posts itself in a private message, you want to thank everyone that likes your posts and that creates more engagement as well. And then within three to five posts per day, make sure one is a before and after picture. And we always want to use a disclaimer, very important. <laughs> And then number four, we want to ask for referrals. So how can you do this? So you want to get out a list of 20 names of close friends and family. We want to pick up the phone and call them, tell them your story and ask them to help you to spread the word. And then you want to ask clients to post on their Facebook page about their journey and victories and ask them to tag you in the post. And you can also ask your friends and family for referrals if they know anyone that's looking to get healthy. And then ask friends and family to post your story on their Facebook pages. And then um, ask them to tag you in their posts and make sure you write out a story for them. And then the fifth thing you want to do is um, contact inactive clients. <laughs> and so you want to log into the Octavia Connect. Uh, pull a report of all the inactive clients. And then the sixth thing is reach out. Reach out by phone, text, how, however, to every person you have contacted um, to talk or share about this program with. And so you want to follow up. Follow up is crucial. And um, you want to uh, um, just lots, just simply forget. They have a life too. Okay. <laughs> lots, we're not ready, but are now. And follow up with just the inquiries as well. So follow up, follow up, follow up. And the seventh thing you want, seventh thing you want to do is create a one minute video or a Facebook live about why you chose to be an Optivia coach and how much you're loving seeing so many succeed. Uh, so you want to post on social media, send text messages, um, and you want to have your clients and friends share your video. And then the eighth thing you want to do is celebrate your client's success on social media. Let people know that you have clients that are achieving their goals. Um, so you never want to miss an opportunity to make someone a star. And then you also want to ask clients if you can share a text message or a message they sent to you, take a screenshot or post it. So we definitely want to get their permission. <laughs> And then the ninth thing you want to do is offer a scholarship for any new potential clients. Um, uh, you can offer them a scholarship of 15, 20, 25 to 30 dollars, um, cash on account, gift card to friends and family. Just give them an incentive to want to um, join. <laughs> And then the 10th thing, the last thing, is visualize only positive things happening to and for you. And if you do this, you will have success in your business. And a bonus. <laughs> we want to get into action now. Um, if you're scared, get into action. I'm always scared, but <laughs> I get into action. <laughs> if you're discouraged or disappointed, get into action. If you're feeling lazy, get into action. If you're not sure, get into action. No matter what you do, get into action. The only way that lives change is for us to get into action. Your goals and dreams do not care about how you feel. No action, no miracle. You guys got that? Latoya, you guys, can we please throw some love in the chat? for Latoya and thank her for, uh, for, for doing this for us. Um, thank you, Latoya. She's done this training a few times and she just does so well with it. I was like, Latoya, we gotta get you on, get you on again this morning. Um, I know she has to actually leave for work. She says she gotta be up and out of the door before 7.15. So Latoya, if you gotta go, that's fine. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for jumping on and doing that for us. Um, yeah, I love it. You guys throw some love in the chat. Latoya, thank you for the energy for the excitement and, and, and really giving us, helping us with the top 10 massive action steps to finish out this month strong. And you guys, she, she, she covered it. She covered it very well and went over, went over, went over all of it. And a lot of times we look at these things and we say, well, you know, I feel like this is the, the same stuff we've been doing all, all month long, you know, since we started this, since we started this, this, um, this, this decision series 
And even if you guys look at the action steps, the action steps really aren't changing. If you guys notice that, are we pretty much doing the same thing? And what happens, um, and I know the mindset of a lot of people, a lot of coaches is they feel like, well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do these action steps and I'm going to stop because they're not giving me the results that I think that I should be having. And it really is building this business is just doing the same thing consistently over time, over time, consistently. These are the action steps that work. And a lot of times we might do them for three days, five days. We do them for seven days and we're like, well, I didn't bring on, I didn't bring on any clients or I didn't bring on any coaches this week. And then we stop. We give up or we slow down. We stop doing the action steps. So we say, you know what? Uh, I didn't, that one didn't work. So I'm going to stop adding 10 friends or yeah, I'm not comfortable doing that Facebook live. So I might do the other four action steps that they post, but I'm not going to do this one because I'm not comfortable with that one um, or whatever it is, whatever story we make up. But this is it, you guys, this is the work. As I mentioned, the action steps pretty much stay the same. The only, the difference between someone that is a senior coach, executive director, and an IPD, the only difference is they were consistent a lot longer than you. That's really it. They did, they did the work. They did the action steps consistently, even when they didn't feel like it, even when the kids were sick, even when the job was, was overwhelming and tired and stressful, even when they had the long 10, 12 hour days, they came home and did the work. They did the action steps anyways. That's the only difference, you guys, between those that we see every single month. And we wonder, how are these people ranking up or what are they doing differently? You know, what are they doing? What are they doing that I'm not doing? The only thing is when they came home from work, they did the work. They did these action steps consistently, consistently over time. And, um, and, and it produced the results that they want. So remember, people right now don't know you as a health coach. All we've been doing this month is branding you. If you guys notice, we've been branding you. We've been adding new people on. We've been sharing your story a lot. We've been um, posting these in your stories. We've been posting these transformations. We are branding and showing people that you are no longer just a, just a school teacher, but you're also a health coach. We're showing people that you're not just a, a, a stay-at-home mom, but you're also a health coach. And it takes time. It takes time and consistency for people to believe and say, okay, well, they've been pretty consistent with this thing um, over time. But now think about if we stopped for a couple of days or a week or two and we said, well, I don't want to do these action steps some more. I don't want to post and live out loud. You're breaking that consistency. And so this is the number one reason why we see people aren't successful in their business. It's because they break, they get their, they get their business out of fat burn. So this is what I want to encourage you guys is this last week of the month. How long, you guys, by show of hands, how long does it take to get into fat burn? How long does it take to get in fat burn? Four days, three days, two days, one day. It takes four days to get in fat burn, okay? No difference in your business. Get your business into fat burn this week. And then don't get out of fat burn. By show of hands, fingers, how many meals off of plan or program can it take you to get out of fat burn? One. So imagine in our business, we go four days strong we get our business into fat burn. And then we say, I'm going to take this one day off or today I don't feel like it or today I'm tired or, you know, it's, it's just a long day and I don't feel like it. And that one day we get out of fat burn, it takes how many days to get back into fat burn? So don't get out of fat burn in your business. Stay consistent, stay consistent. So then when we weigh in in our business next week, when we weigh in in our business next month, we know it's predictable results. It's predictable transformation because we stayed into a successful fat burn. You guys, thank you guys for being here this morning. We are going to finish this week out strong because uh, that's just what we do. Latoya, thank you so much for leading us this morning. I will post the action steps in the group. 
You guys, let's go have a great week and let's get into massive, massive action this week. And let's go help some, let's finish this month strong, go help some people. You guys have a great day and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning.